If you'd like to hit your serves harder and get more free points during your tennis matches, then you've clicked on exactly the right lesson. I recently played a tennis match and I had one double fault the whole match and no aces, hardly any free points. And that's because I'm great at hitting spin, but I need to work on creating more pace, more power on my first serve. So let's dive into a quick stroke analysis. Let me show you why I'm able to easily make spin, but I kind of struggle a little bit creating power. And then I'll show you step-by-step -step drills that I'm gonna work through, and you can just copy them right along with me to create more power on your own serve. So here's some quick video analysis that I just shot as I was warming up, getting ready for this video. And I want you to look at my swing path here. My target, obviously, is the box, which is slightly cross-court for me. And this ball kind of hits the middle of the service box, maybe slightly out wide towards the corner. But look at the path of the racket. What direction is my racket moving as I hit the ball? It's cutting inside the court and out to the side at about a 45 degree angle. And that means this serve is going to have a lot of spin. My racket's traveling upwards and aggressively out to the side. And so when the racket moves past the ball, as opposed to through the ball, it makes the ball rotate. That's what makes the ball curve. And that's why I didn't have any double faults. I think maybe I had one in that last match. But a good opponent is gonna get used to that spin and adjust to it. And so occasionally it's nice to be able to send the ball powerfully through the court. So going back to the analysis, if I want to hit as hard of a serve as possible, rather than using this green arrow, what I want to do instead is transition as much of my racket head speed as possible towards the box. That means coming up from behind the ball and releasing through the ball towards my target instead of swinging up and out to the side. So that's our task. Let me walk you through a couple drills. I'm gonna train myself right now, and then we'll compare serve speeds between the one I just hit and one I'm gonna hit about 20 or 30 minutes from now. So we're gonna put ourselves on the service line here because in my experience for moving myself and my students from our normal environment helps a lot. Just kind of detach and just try new things and different things. So what we saw in the analysis a second ago is as I came up towards contact, my chest was about facing towards the net post off to the right, and my racket was swinging out in that direction. That's what makes all the spin. So check this out. If I take this motion and I turn my hips and my chest a little bit more towards the net, not all the way facing the net, but maybe about halfway in between, look at what happens to my racket. Here's my chest facing the net post. Look at how far back my racket is, how much to the left my racket is. If I turn a little further, look at how my racket now is coming in line with the box. So from here, I could pull the racket and release my racket head through the ball towards my target. So if I'm standing in the same place and trying to hit that same target, but I wanna send all of my racket head speed, all of my energy towards that target, my body has got to open a little bit more and then my racket, instead of coming from left to right across the ball, needs to come from behind and through the ball. That's how I can deliver more energy and more pace through the ball towards my target. So now that I've kind of shadowed that a little bit, I'm just gonna practice from a trophy pose, dropping, turning, and releasing towards the box. And I'm gonna kind of exaggerate here. I'm actually gonna face more forwards than I normally do, would on my motion. Cause I know when I go back to my full motion, I'm probably gonna stay much more sideways than during my practice ones. So I'm gonna face forwards and practice releasing through. And then I'm gonna to toss and release through towards my target. Toss and through, toss and through. And whether or not this goes in the box, doesn't really matter a whole lot. Just get a feeling for going through the ball. And let's look at the slow motion and check the comparison between that and what I was doing before. All right, check this out. On the left side is one of the practice ones I just did. Look at where my chest is facing here, how it's facing towards the net. And now watch how my racket's gonna come from behind the ball and goes through the ball. And here my racket is traveling about towards the net strap. 
So this is still going to put a little bit of spin on the ball. My racket's not releasing like dead straight through the ball towards the target. But look at the comparison compared to the serve I hit before. Check it. Check out the path of my racket here. How my racket is really cutting up and past the ball off to the side. And so that's why I'm making all that spin. And I've just had a hard time kind of breaking out of that. Like I'm so used to, to using my spin serve that I have a hard time getting into the flat powerful one. And so that's why I'm doing these drills. So this practice swing right here is exactly what I want to replicate and kind of grab onto that, that feeling of that direct delivery and that flat straight delivery. And then we're going to march our way back towards the baseline. Now I'm back in no man's land and I'm going to continue doing just from trophy pose, continuing to focus on just two things, turning my body more forwards and then delivering my racket from behind the ball through the ball towards the middle of the box on the other side. So let's do some more practice repetitions here, starting from trophy pose, toss. And what I want to listen for here is a pop. Like that was, a, I was really happy with that sound. There's kind of a, a certain noise the ball makes. When the racket goes flush through the ball, it creates kind of a pop or more of a thud sound against the strings, as opposed to, hopefully you'll be able to hear this. Uh, listen to this one. You hear that? There's like the brush or like click uh, sound. Now I'll try for the pop one again. That was kind of a hybrid uh, between the two. There, that's the, hopefully you can hear the, the difference there. Hopefully the video guys uh, can really make that come through. So I'm listening for that pop. And when you hear that audible indicator, just kind of catalog in your mind, what did that feel like? Where was my chest facing? How did my racket come through? And so I'm actually just gonna hang out here for probably another two or three minutes, continuing to go from, nice, that's, that's the sound I want. Continuing to go from trophy pose. And that's kind of a hybrid. Nice. By hybrid, I mean like I came across the ball a little more than I wanted. I got a little bit more brush than what I was looking for. I'm really going for like a pure flat flush hit of the ball. That's why I'm going to get the most power out of these serves. And by the way, notice I'm going like half speed slowly. You can tell by the sound. You don't have to swing as hard as possible and like see how fast the ball goes to know whether or not you're doing it right. If you just go, oh, I get it. I like, I understand Ian, thank you. And just go start cranking serves like full motion, full speed. You're just gonna go back to the way you always do it because it's just your habit. So practice, use these progressions the way I'm doing it. Eh, kind of a hybrid. So I'm gonna hang out here until I get a few more pops and then we'll progress. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's the one I want. Kind of a hybrid. That's it. That's the sound I want. Nope. Spin. That's it. That's it. Yep, that's the sound. Now we're all the way back at the baseline, and I'm going to start to incorporate my full motion, but I'm just going to keep my feet right where they are, and just, just to take one variable out of it. Normally I start wide and then I, I come forwards, but I'm just gonna stay here and just practice turning forwards, going through my whole motion, and I'm looking for that pop sound. I'm actually gonna start with two or three from trophy position and just come forwards and listen for that, for that sound first. That's the, that's the sound. That's the, that was like half speed, like no effort. It was in the box and hit the back curtain on, on one bounce. So I, I just know based on the feel, the sound, the result, that I just went flush, like right, right through the ball. Nope, hopefully you heard the sound there. That was like more of a spin sound. So I know I went out to the side too much. No, kind of a hybrid. There we go. Do you hear the sound difference? Hopefully, Tyler, do you hear it? <laughs> All right, now I'll go to uh, full motion. That was okay, kind of a hybrid. Nope, that was spin. That's it, that's the sound. Nope, then that was spin. Wanna get rid of the click. 
I can always find the click again. I've got the click is is a deep, deep habit of mine. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna try to go. Uh, I'm gonna go full mo full motion now, and try to get everything lining up. Again, don't start with this. Don't just go. Oh, I understand. Like I'm just gonna go blast some serves. You're just gonna go into your old uh, habit. I've done a lot of repetitions, doing a lot of different progressions. That's the way you should be addressing doing something different or new as well. It's okay. Nice, and I'm definitely hitting it a lot straighter, uh, a lot flatter. That's what I wanted. And that was more of the spin. Hopefully you heard the sound difference on your end. Now I spin again. I'm actually pretty happy with those first two. Let me get one more that feels nice and flat. There we go. Yeah, let's take a look at that. So let's compare the one I just hit to, to when we started. On the left here is the one I started with. So this is my spin serve. This is like my, my bread and butter, like just my go-to. Look at how my racket is traveling out to the side. And now here's the one I, I just hit that made that pop sound. Look at how my racket is traveling through the baseline towards the net more. So look at my hand and my arm on my follow-through position here compared to my hand and my arm here on the spin one. And look at how on the right, my body is facing a little bit more forwards, and that's what enables that straighter delivery of the racket. Now, as you can see, I still could deliver the racket more direct. Like, I still have more work I can do here. But this is a big step in the right direction. We just did the frames per second calculation. My spin serve earlier hit the box at 66 miles per hour. This more direct pop serve hit the box at 90 miles an hour. And it was at a pretty casual, you know, loose speed. I wasn't trying to like muscle it and go all out. It was at a pretty casual pace. So I know training this is going to make a big difference. Not just in like, oh, it's a faster serve, but it's a change of pace. It's like a good baseball pitcher is going to have different deliveries to keep the batter off balance. So I'm going to keep working on this. If this was helpful to you and you can see a clear path on how you can hit with more power and more direct, do me a favor and click the like button. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.